Hey there, Weekend Confirmers. It's Jeff Kanata here with two N's and one T to answer your question of the week. Today's question sent in by at Alstonad on the Twitters. Alstonad asks, current gen is winding down. What's a game that deserves another play as a send-off to the current gen? That's a great question. Uh, here's how I interpret that. What is an underappreciated game on this generation that no one's going to think about when Generation Next comes up? And, uh, I mean, of course, there's all those wonder. There's been fabulous, fantastic, marvelous games in this generation. Everybody knows them. I don't have to repeat the Bioshocks of the world, the Assassin's Creed 2 of the world, the Gears of Wars of the world, the uh, Uncharted's of the world. All of these are self-explanatory games that defined the generation superlative experiences that should not be missed by anyone. But you've all played those. You've played those. So what is a game that, should this generation fade away like a distant memory? What is a, one of those games that will be forgotten instead of remembered? And I submit, you've probably heard me uh, mention this game on the podcast before, I submit Sacred 2 is a game that far too few people played. It is a fantastic role-playing game. Huge, expansive, fun, full of whimsy, full of action, great character classes and customization, a gigantic, interesting world in isometric p perspective, which is one of my favorite ways to play role-playing games. Awesome game. Teensy weensy bit buggy, but I understand that they put out a patch after I had played it all the way through that um, fixed a lot of that. So it was for 360. Also thinking about the end of a console generation, it, it made me go back and think about the games that I loved at the beginning of the console generation. The very first game I loved of this generation, it should be said, Geometry Wars. Remember when that game ruled the roost and everybody was talking about it and your high scores meant something and there was like a sequel and everybody was clamoring for it and whoa, whoa, whoa. Now it's sort of uh, forgotten, I would say. There's been a lot of games that have uh, borrowed from it and been inspired by it, uh, and that's great, but Geometry Wars was the first game. I remember I slept on the concrete on launch day in front of a Best Buy to buy my uh, Xbox 360, brought it home, all excited. I had, um, I had Perfect Dark Zero and something else. What was the something else? I can't remember what the other game was that I bought. Um, Gears? No, it wasn't, out. it wasn't a launch game. Oh, no, it was uh, Call of Duty 2. Oh, Call yeah. of Duty 2, uh, which is awesome. Um, and uh, and really the game that I kept playing over and over and over was Geometry Wars, and I was so excited. It was that fun beginning of a, a generation where we didn't really have downloadable games before, and all of a sudden now there were downloadable games, and every week I was excited about what the new XBLA game was going to be that was going to come out, and I would be able to download it on my Xbox. Um, and that was the first, uh, 99% sure that was the first console of this generation that I bought. I bought, a, obviously, bought a Wii and a PS3 as well and had, had exciting times with those games. But that was the beginning of this new cycle. And, um, you know, another game that I think I probably, if I played it now, would not think as highly of it as I did then. But looking back on it, I don't think it deserves the low opinion that it seems to have among the general public, and that is Cameo. Cameo was a game I liked. Damn it. And uh, I always wish they made a sequel and improved upon that game. I had a good time with Cameo. Um, I bet majority of the people listening to this didn't even play it. Uh, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was cool. You could like steal powers from enemies. It was a, a true platformer back when platformers were, were a thing. Remember that? Um, yeah. So this generation... Obviously, the top-tier marquee games that we're always going to remember, we're always going to look back on uh, with fondness. But there are plenty of those games that seep through the cracks. I would love to find out what yours are. Maybe comment on this video and let me know. Uh, until next week, see you then. I already make a list with that same sunset and that humor has probably had and any sword play maybe the combat the kind of well and uh an awesome traversal and bearing and all that stuff. So it's third person.